this is the John Deere Waterloo Museum and we can show you some of the early stuff like um, this Froelich tractor engine so um, long story short there was a Waterloo gasoline engine company that John Deere bought to be market competitive these were the early tractors and engines you know so we take things for granted cars usually have you know normal car has 200 horsepower but back in the day you know you had one two three four five six seven eight horsepower to plow some farms so pretty interesting interesting stuff the boat of John Deere it's an early Deere and Mansoor corn planter it was manufactured in Moline, Illinois in 1881 This is a John Deere corn binder from 1938. Obviously restored and painted. That's pretty cool. So admission to this place was like 10 bucks, but now it's free. So that's always good. So early farm innovation in Waterloo, Iowa consisted of, um, you know, motor powered carriages um, and single cylinder gasoline engines. Um, to speed up the farm work. You know, it's ranged from 2 horsepower to all the way to 14 horsepower. And this company was called Waterloo Boy. Uh, it's a brand born in Waterloo um, in the early 1900s. The Waterloo Gasoline Engine Company created this brand um, just to say, just to give it a, you know, unique characteristics and brand naming, I guess. So let's take a look at some of the tractors in person this is something I, I believe from the 1990s just from the styling of it oh i'm wrong it's 1981 um, 112 horsepower engine in the pto 130 this is john deere 4400 um, so when i was working in waterloo I worked on the diesel engines, um, so I love diesel engines. They make more power, more torque, and it's always good. John Deere diesel. So a, a lot of logo changes have taken place at John Deere. Um, the deer was going down in this case but now it leaps upward towards the future. Um, this is another very, very famous John Deere tractor, the 4010 diesel. Uh, looks like it's a six cylinder. Let's take a look. It was manufactured in Waterloo, Iowa, 1961. Very iconic John Deere tractor. So these are cool, um, I guess, games in this museum. You press the button and they will play the sound of the engine and you have to guess what it is. I suck at this, but this is how it is played. Foot pedal engage the electric starter. And this is a Model G. Alright, let's see. That sounds a little bit more modern, doesn't it? John Deere Model 730. God. Starting this tractor required a hand crank. So 
sounds like a steam engine. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Now this is the water the boy factory. <coughs> turning more modern, turning the key started this factory. Oh yeah. Very modern. 40 20. Alright, this is cool. It took a gas engine to start the main engine in this tractor. That's hilarious. Oh boy, this is the big Model R. R for Rafi. To start this tractor, required turning its flywheel by hand. Very safe. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. So these are all the different grill designs of John Deere tractors throughout the years. The grills have definitely looked different. We should be so grateful and Definitely glad that we have computers and software to do all the dimensional drawings and 3D designing. But back in the old and golden days, that's how they used to do it by hand on drafting boards. Um, <laughs> that's how did the how they did the logos and the stickers. I guess that's pretty cool. Engineers were rock stars back back in the day. This is from 1930. It's crazy. And all done by hand. On um, drafting boards like this. Oh, this is cool. These are the testing that they did for the roll hoop. We tested if the roll hoop was strong enough to save the operator. Let's see. Alright, it's gonna flip over, flip over. Oh, the roll hoop did not break or bend, so that's good. So yeah, this museum I think is one of the best uh, manufacturer museums that I've ever been to. Uh, it's small, but not too big. Not not too big, not too small, and still has this like really good amount of uh, product and information to keep you entertained. John Deere dealers, from blacksmith to dealership. Yeah, that's how business grew, and you know, dealership became a main mainstream thing. And this is an actual anvil that a blacksmith would use. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm waiting for the people to get off these tractors so that I can get on them. So we gotta wait a little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, time to get inside the John Deere 8RX. Let me show you guys what the inside looks like. Got a duck in. Oh boy. So John Deere is like, I guess the most American way to say this is John Deere, Deere is the Cadillac of all, all the tractors. Um, the cabs are so, so comfortable and so spacious. It is crazy, it is wild. And um, so driving a tractor is kind of similar, but also kind of different than driving a car. Um, obviously the dynamics are very similar, but the controls are different. So when I used to work at John Deere, um, I got some training to drive tractors, uh, with trailers and without trailers. And John Deere tractors 
Uh, most of them come with this, uh, what do they call it, a ch jumper seat or a child seat if you want to carry somebody with you while you're farming. But usually you control your engine uh, speed with this, right? And then you control all your gears with this. Um, your age back controls, radio controls, um, your screen for all the, all the information here and here. And that vertical screen has your fuel information, uh, maybe your coolant temperature information, and your DEF level information. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Huge and very different than a car. So I used to work on this engine. It is the classic 9 liter series turbo. <laughs> so you have the, uh, what do you call this? The, um, OCV open crankcase ventilation filter system. That, uh, Fresh air, exhaust gas, mixing system there. Got two big garage turbos. It's pretty cool, right? Okay? So yeah, I used to work on calibrating uh, diesel engines and primarily uh, my job was to control aspects of the air system uh, like EGR controls, uh, turbo vane controls, um, throttle valve controls, and also control the fueling. So there you go, that's a fuel rail. And it is crazy how much fidelity uh, you have nowadays to control uh, how an engine runs in different conditions to be emissions compliant and also make power. So super cool. Very proud of my work. Um, yeah, you gotta be proud of your work, you guys. Don't ever forget that. So another uh, display that is so cool is the seating display of how the seat design and implementation has evolved. You know, pan seat, you got deep cushion seat, float ride seat, so it's, you know, it's better suspension and whatnot to make it more comfortable. So, pretty cool display. Alright, John Deere Waterloo Museum. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, I will make this museum part of the trip down memory lane in Iowa. Uh, a separate video, but I'll also include um, like small portions in the big video. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and this is me signing out from Iowa. I hope I never come back to Iowa without a very good reason. So, yep, peace. <laughs>